Hi, this is Don Overstreet from Los Angeles. Um, just wanted to share some thanks with you about Mrs. McDonald. First of all, uh, my heart is saddened that she's left us behind, but, but also joyful that she's around the throne of grace, worshiping God and honoring Him who he loved, she loved so very much. Mrs. McDonald is very special to me. Um, she was one of the first ladies came to our church when I opened the church at, in the little carpenter shop up, up in Old Montrose. And I always loved what she said. Um, she listened to my sermon. She said, well, he believes in security of the believer. He's my kind of Baptist. And she was with us from the very beginning. Um, I love her. Yes, she wasn't always perfect. Yes, she had her. She had opinions. But I know she loved God, and every time we went out on our outreach, she was there. Every time we went to the prison, she usually was there before I was. She was faithful. She was playing the kazoo with all the young people up on the stage and concerts. Uh, she just loved Jesus. Um, one of the major, one of the special moments I always remember. We were doing some evangelism training at the church and using the four spiritual laws, and she'd taken it home to her husband Eric. Uh, the night couple days before and she said, I'm going to read this. And then uh, on a Friday night she sat down and, and went through the track with them and she, he prayed to accept Christ into his life. And she came to the church Saturday morning with the biggest smile on her face and she was just rejoicing that after so many years uh, he had accepted Christ. And that was exciting. Uh, some of the other crazy things that I'll remember about Mrs. McDonald is I got in trouble. I got accused by the um, chief of police that I was running the uh, prostitution ring uh, because we had so many young ladies, young girls, teenagers coming to our church. But you know why? It's because Mrs. McDonald had been ministering to them. She had been loving on them. She had been caring for them. She had been loving them for years, even before the church was started. And then she brought them to the church and they got saved. So I thank God for Mrs. McDonald. I'll always honor her as a very special lady. I truly call her a saint. And we all have been blessed by knowing her and caring for her and letting her care for us. And I, I, I wish I was there today, today, on Saturday with the service with you, but in my heart I am uh, celebrating her, her life, her death, and her eternal life with Jesus Christ. God bless you.